I have spent a lifetime on and off the camera making houses into homes. Real homes, cozy homes. It's my passion. What is a home? It's the place that I go to to be with my family, my friends. I go there to laugh, relax. Sometimes I go there to cry. I love my home. It's my bedrock, it's my foundation. It's a reflection of me. What bonds all of us together is that we spend the majority of our hard-earned wages on the roof over our head. So why waste all that hard work turning your house into an unloved dumping ground? I've heard all the excuses. The favorite one is, oh, it's the children. You teach your children how to behave. And frankly, you do your children no service whatsoever by sending them out into the world useless. The other one is, it, it's not mine, we just rent it. Have some respect. You should treat everything as if it was your own. And then there's, oh, well, we don't have any money. I'm sorry. Soap, water, elbow grease, organization costs nothing. One woman I worked with actually said to me, she said, oh, well, of course, it's all right for you because you've got a big house. And I said to her, do you know what you would do with a big house? You'd just make a bigger mess. All homes are different. They have a heartbeat, they have a personality. But when it's all gone wrong and it's got on top of you, there's only one way to deal with it. It's a three-pronged attack. First of all, you have to declutter. And my little mantra for decluttering is you take an item and you say, is it beautiful, useful, or seriously sentimental? And if I can't put you into one of those categories, it goes. I actually worked with one woman and she got rid of her husband because he didn't come into any of those categories. That's another story. Next thing you do is you clean, and you clean like you have never cleaned before. And finally, and this is really important, you put systems in place to run your home. Because discipline gives you freedom not to be a slave to your house. Have you ever been talking to somebody you don't know, and you've asked that question, so what do you do for a living? I'm just a housewife. <gasps> I hate it when women say that. My goodness me, a housewife? You run a little business. In fact, you manage a hotel every single day. Take ownership of the title and be proud of it. When I bang on about running homes, I don't mean that you need to be prissy about this or you lead one of those sanitized, minimal existences. I don't. I live in a real home. I have a husband who thinks he's tidy, but he's not really. Three girls, four cats, two hairy dogs, and there always seems to be boots and wellies everywhere. But you know, I have put systems in that house that make it easy to run, and I am really confident in that home. Confidence is the key to life. My name's Anthea Turner, and I'm on a mission to make your house Oh.